our show is Look Around You, and it's a, what is it? It's kind of like a 10, eight, 10 minute comedy shorts which are like spoofing science education programs that we were forced to watch when we were kids at school. Yeah, yeah we sounds hilarious, huh? <laughs> Without calcium, man would be unable to process foods and would starve. Everything you see is just nonsense, basically. Mm. We didn't. We started at first. We thought we should read up, and then we thought, no, let's not look at any books and just make yeah. this whole show without any research. We were traumatized by science yeah. and education. I think both of us yeah. were. I don't know why I'm talking in this Yoda speak. <laughs> I think education. Both of us were traumatized by. We have one whole episode about ghosts, where uh, it's like the thing is, you know, as we all know, ghosts exist, and you know, you've probably seen a ghost in your life, and you know, we do experiments with ghosts, and you know, and it's all treated very matter-of-factly, you know. And we have an experiment where we go into the haunted laboratory where the scientist works hand in hand with a, a ghost scientist who's just invisible. He's quite naughty, isn't he? He's yeah. sort of like a poltergeist that kind of goes wrong. And there's some ectoplasm. Sometimes when ghosts which you eat. materialize, there's some ectoplasm which I eat. And it tastes like pig's milk. Anyway, that's some of the some pilk. of the highlights pilk. from the pilk. Yes, it's delightful. It says on the yeah, on the card. It's delightful. It's a glass delinkful. of it. Pink milk. Iron is, uh, or to give it its full name, Iron de Havilland. Um, we do an experiment in which we uh, feed an electric current through. What do we through an iron pyramid? which causes a uh, spark to go through the ceiling and, and, and put a hole through the ceiling of the lab, which we've never been outside. And we go outside and see what's happened and you see the laboratory for the first time. And in the sky is a giant pair of scissors floating there. And the narrator just says, this is an old experiment that you've probably seen before, but we're worth trying nonetheless. And just the scissors slowly fade and just cancel. There's also a bit in iron where there's a girl it's like, there's a, it's like a hobby. You've probably seen people who collect iron filings, you know, and we see a little girl, she's about six, like put, put iron filings. And in the background, there's a filing cabinet that says iron filing cabinet. That's such a police squad joke. Yeah, it's actually, made of though. iron. Anyway, so that's, it's a bit like two and a half men in a nutshell. Yeah, with iron filings. There's lots of commentaries. There's, we spent so long on the features for this DVD. Well, yeah, we got, uh, Tim and Eric, such horrible guys though, but they are really funny. <laughs> they are, they? they steal. Did they steal something? They must they have, they, they always steal. And I just hate when Eric gets into a rage, you know? He, he's like got the strength of five men, he goes mad. Yeah. Five little men. Five little men. Five men nonetheless. Matt and Trey from South Park. Yeah. Which was amazing. Who are heroes of ours. We were going to do a film about Henry VIII and just write it without doing any research at all. Our version of the story. And just no looking at the old sources or anything. Just just not knowing anything about it. Just, he just never knowing marries. the sort he of never marries. Just, or just knowing the sort of vibe of Henry the Eighth and that's that's all the research and just do and it. He was gonna know. have a car. Yeah, a car. Well, Henry but you've the seen a picture of Henry the Eighth though, haven't hot you? Guy. But you know his bot actually was the only attractive part of him. But you never beautiful. you never got he had to a see beautiful it. Beautiful bottom. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're, we are being truthful. One honestly. of us is being truthful. And the other one always lies.